Hello guys. Good morning to all of you. Today we will discuss how to represent a, an irrational number on a number line. All of you know what is irrational number? I hope you know that is irrational number. So one second I am telling you what is irrational number. So you know irrational number that is all non-terminating, non-repeating decimal numbers are there. So look at here, here, here. suppose root 2. Understood? Is visible? So root 2 is also irrational number because in root 2 this value if we find out by friction method so finally you will get some number 1.414 like this some numbers this decimal number will come non-terminating non-repeating non-terminating non-repeating decimal numbers okay so non-terminating non-repeating decimal numbers that is irrational number so, so like that so many irrational numbers are also you know suppose 2.5 square root this is also a also an irrational number so different different irrational number how can you repeat on a number line so before this repeating on number line first in general form i will explain and and repeat how to represent a uh, irrational number x root x root x the value of x we don't know so the root x how can you represent on a number line that derivation are today i will describe understood so let us start this once again so this is uh, here Our, our question is that our question is here that is root of x root x on a number line so root x on a number line how can you represent so first you know number line the draw a number line first understood what to do draw a number line so first is number line is run here number line is run here is it clear very clear number line and your target is x. Suppose you have to take here 0. This is 0 and 0 to x. Suppose this is x. That naming is you can put here a, here b. Now here we will write here a b equal to x. Is clear? a b is taken as x. So a b is taken as x. Now here x is and you just from the x that is the method i am explaining the method how to represent the uh, square root of x on number line so step by step try to understand and follow the methods or steps so here after the x you have to take one more point so x plus one this is your one unit okay so one unit so this is c now you can say here bc is equal to what clear so bc equal to 1 so since bc equal to 1 now ac what can you say about ac ac is equal to x plus 1 understood next day ac you have to do ac is the now total value is x plus 1 next step is equal you divide the ac line segment into perpendicular you know there is a perpendicular bisector how to construct a perpendicular bisector that you also know so try to uh, bisect the AC here AC we know by taking a arc modulus of so you can get it this so this is a line this is a suppose this is the line and that is a perpendicular bisector of AC is visible to all of you so <coughs> our now first step is taken AC AC is the bisector AC bisector of AC is your another line that is a any letter, any PQ, anything, no problem. This is a PQ is the line bisector of AC. So let this point is be suppose uh, D. D is the midpoint of AC. Understood? So AC, D is the midpoint. So AD, AD equal to DC, AD equal to DC. It's clear? Now, from D, okay. But from the D, D is the center by taking D as a center, draw an, draw an arc or semicircle by using the D as a center and radius AD. So, this is the semicircle, this is the, one second is right, the semicircle, this is the C and the semicircle you have to draw here. The semicircle is now, this is the C. So, 
look at here this is semicircle and radius is AD or DC so AD DC is the radius the radius radius of the semicircle where D is the center of the circle understood now from here you know already at x b from a to b that is x so at point x at point b draw a perpendicular line to draw the 90 degree angle okay so here at b suppose here b so draw a perpendicular line here and this draw here perpendicular line which is intersect the semicircle at m understood which intersect the perpendicular line at m now bm therefore bm is perpendicular to ac or dc okay now mb a a join then join join d to m now now dmb 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 is a uh, is a right angled triangle is a right angle triangle you know right angle triangle right angle triangle means what a triangle which one angle is 90 degree now here one angle is 90 degree so since this angle is 90 degree now d b m d b m is a right angle triangle look at here this is right angle right angle triangle i just understand so here d m therefore d m equal to a d equal to d c equal to radius i hope you understood now a d equal to a d equal to a d equal to a c by 2 a c what is the what x plus 1 by 2 a c means x plus 1 look at here a c x x b c 1 AC means x plus 1. Clear? So x plus 1, please step by step try to understand. Okay? So don't don't disturb yourself. So you have to continuously listen, then you can understand. Okay. So A D is equal to S C by 2. A C by 2, that is x plus 1 by 2. And DM also, A D also DM. So dm on dm equal to ad is equal to sc by 2 that is equal to x plus 1 by 2. Now we want to find out here dm now mb mb m db 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 equal to what is db? db is equal to dc minus bc dc minus bc what is dc? dc already you know that c is the radius cos by d so dc means x plus 1 by 2 ok so dm ad is equal to dc also dc because equal to radius you know already from previous steps so look at the pictures look at all the steps i hope you all the steps you understood ad x bc bc 1 this is 1 and taken then in this triangle so here in this triangle Look at this triangle, one second I am just showing this triangle, this small triangle, there is a small triangle. Understood? Is it visible to all of you? This is a small triangle that is what? This DMB. In that DMB triangle, by Pythagoras theorem, we know that what? P square plus P square equal to square like that here, the DP. <coughs> so, DB square plus dm square equal to dm square or dm square minus bd square equal to bm square so bm bm is equal to square root of dm square minus bd square understood once again you check this triangle you check in this triangle, small triangle, db is the base. Since db is the base and bm is the perpendicular line, and dm is what? dm is hypotenuse. So in this base, perpendicular line and hypotenuse. So dm, that hypotenuse here, dm that is 
dm square minus dp square. Here dm square is plus. If you want to bm square, then finally bm is equal to so, subtraction of this dm square minus bd square. That you know. Okay. Now we have to put the formulas, uh, values. So what is the dm? Dm dm value. What is dm? Bm. Dm means x plus one by two. All you know. Yes, dm x plus one by two. X plus one by two whole square. Bd. What is the value of bd? Bd. Bd here minus this is a bd is actually not computed here. Dc minus dc 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 minus dc dc means one. So here it is not completed. This value actually we have not calculated. Now this is two. This is x plus one minus two. Finally x minus one by two. Okay. This value dp just I have calculated not completed. Okay. One second to see. The BC value is not put here. Here now I put here. One second. So now we got DB value this one. In place of BD, you put this value. How much it is there? X minus one by two whole square. Clear? So what are the now second square root? So one second I am explaining here. So that is B A is equal to X plus one whole square. Y four minus x minus one whole square y four square root. So one second and same is four. Now x plus one whole square minus x minus one whole square square root. This is this is very uh, simple formula. Any algebraic identities, you know. What is algebraic identity? You know a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. What is the formula? A plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. Do you know? You I think you know. Let's think. A plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. So a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square is four ab. So for you, one second I am explaining how it is. So remember here, this is a a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square. What is this? This is x square plus b square plus two ab minus a square plus b square minus two ab. Just open the bracket, you will get the result plus two ab. Minus a square minus b square plus two ab. B square b square cancel. A square square cancel. That is four ab. Understood? Same procedure here. This is a. This is b. So this answer will be what? Four into x into one. Understood? Divided by four. So finally the four four cancel. So this is root x. Our target completed. So our mission completed. This is we want to search the value of root x. Now we got root x, which is b m. Wow, wow. That is b m. Here b m. So this b m value you got root x. Now that line you have to show on number line. Just get your compass, pencil. Now ready and make it. And now put the compass metallic point at point b and measure b m. And from here, just I'm showing the black color ring. You just this is the BM, this is the compass, and put here this black color point and the pencil is here. And slowly, 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 cut, 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 cut. This layers understood. And this point you got root x. So BM and this point. Let's try to take this point. In other words, that is a yes. So this point let this point be K. Okay. So on this number line, the K represents root X. So here justification done, and also proved how to represent the value of X on number line. Understood? Okay. Today this part is finished. Next next part we'll discuss later. Okay. If you understood this clear. Uh, problem clearly please subscribe and also like and share your friends perhaps they may be benefit they will get benefit from me okay thank you